Hello and welcome to this session. In today's session, I'm going to teach, take you through your first publishing process. Maybe publishing your first book on KDP. So maybe if it is low or no content, I'm just going to pick one book and we're going to go through the process. So if you are at home, wherever you are, and you are publishing, you can always refer to this as your manual for publishing. But there are things that I may do, which you may not be able to do now, but that's fine. You will get to learn the processes. And there are, when, as you grow up to it, this, you may have differences. And you may learn new experiences, which you will adopt, which may not be covered here. But today, I'm just going to take you through the basic process of publishing your first book. Congratulations. Let's move on. So let's move on to my board, the desktop. But before you publish, or before you go through this, you must have your uh, cover page already designed. And if you don't know how to design a cover page, I will teach you how to, uh, in one of the videos, there's a session that covers about cover pages, and how you can design simple covers. You need to also have your data, metadata, sorted out, which I've already done. Uh, so if you don't know how to do your research about uh, keywords and niches, there's a video to this effect in this course that you can look at. And also you need to have your interior. So there's a video about interiors too that in this course I've uh, outlined. So today I'm just going to fast track some of them and uh, get them sorted then we start the publishing process on KDP. So first, you have your cover. So this is my cover. I've already designed this cover on a, a Canva. You can see how it is. This is my cover. You can add anything. It's simple to design covers on. Uh, I prefer using this. You can add text. You can add whatever, but this is OK. You can even change this to this color, but I like it this way, right? So that is my co uh, uh, cover page that we are going to use for today. So let me just download it. And once I'm downloaded, I'm going to do it PDF print because we're going to need it in PDF. Then we download this one straight into our downloads. So it's going to go straight to our downloads, which we will be using later in this program. So you can see it is ready to download. Then I use a PowerPoint to do my, I use PowerPoint to do my interiors. So I use Canva and PowerPoint, but in this I'm gonna use PowerPoint. So I already have this one sorted out. And what you should know is the size. So I'm going to use six by nine, which is a normal standard book size. So I'm just going to show you how to check whether it's six by nine. So once you go to insert, you go to design, you go to page setup, you see it has custom, it's a custom size six, that's the inches by nine inches. Then you can see you have it already here. So this is my interior, which we will be using, I personally designed this, which we will be using for this particular tutorial. So let me download it also, but it needs to be in PDF. So I'm going to save it as gratitude journal, then I put it as PDF, like copy. So it's going to be like PDF. So I put it there, gratitude journal practice. So that's what we're going to use. And I'm going to, to be in the desktop, uh, save it on the desktop. <coughs> which you will just be picking to upload. So once you're done with this, you just go back, and I already have my metadata sorted out. So I did a video about this in the mass upload tool, how to use the mass upload, but today I'm not going to use the mass upload because some of you may not be using it. You may just need to publish one or two or three, which you don't need a mass upload. But this is my metadata, title, subtitle, the name, uh, description. So I'm just going to pick all this and I may also add some keywords along the line. But this is my metadata. So you should have all of this 
then straight we go to KDP. So this is the KDP interface. Once you log in, this is how it's going to look like. And uh, we have Kindle ebook and we have paperback. So for the purposes of low content and no content publishing, we don't use this. We use the paperback so that people can, once they ship it, they can download it, and they can uh, print it at Amazon and ship it to the customer. And that's the opportunity you have. Just upload your book, you are sleeping, you are lying down, and someone gets to what, print it and send it out to your customer. So first thing is paperback. You will click on paperback, and this is pretty same how this is going to look like. So I'm just going to take my time. If you have questions, you can always ask, but this is how it looks like. So if yours is not looking like this, it simply means you are not here. So we look at the book title. So we type in the book title, which is Gratitude Journal. Gratitude, gratitude, make sure it's correct. Gratitude Journal, so you have your title. The importance of this is that to appear, once people type in on uh, Amazon, this is one of your keywords that they will be looking at. So Gratitude Journal, they will be picking the subtitle. So the subtitle also has its opportunities. Make sure that you maximize and use all the keywords that you can find on planet Earth that can be adjusted into the subtitle and make it in the form of a sentence so that it will make sense to the readers or the buyers once they are reading through it. So that once they click on any of them, you see that it comes up, it pops up, and they are able to buy. So this is my attitude journal. And you understand why I've put, uh, I'm going to put like, I've inputted all of these things. So the only repeated word is gratitude, uh, which is in the subtitle, the title. But make sure that you don't repeat your um, keywords. If you see here, don't bring it here. But here, I want it to make sense, and I don't know the word that you use. So this is the title, Gratitude Journal, and the subtitle goes like, Good Day Starts With Gratitude. So Good Day Starts With Gratitude because people who like to, uh, gratitude, they want to start with something. So they may type in start, or good days. Then Good Day Starts With Gratitude. So it's a keyword on its own. So a daily guide to cultivate an attitude of gratefulness. So they may type in gratefulness or attitude to get in gratitude journal. So appreciation gift. So I want people to be able to buy this book as a gift for, yeah, for women, this journal for women. So gift is, a, uh, gift is a keyword, journal is a keyword. Women, women buy a lot of books. To buy books for women and girls. So, for, so you can see all these things are keywords. An appreciation gift journal for women, girl, kids, adults, Christmas. So this are, you can see Christmas is a big keyword that people are searching for during Christmas. So I want this book to sell during Christmas, during Easter, during Mother's Day. So I've put in all this Easter, Mother's Day. So put it in the form of a sentence. An appreciation gift journal for women, girl. Kids, adults, Christmas, Easter, Mother's, Father's Day, gifts, teachers, boss, etc. Because teachers also buy, the, like, uh, they need gratitude books. Then that is a subtitle for you. So what I'm going to put is, I'm going to put in a name, author name. So here you may use your own name if it is, uh, if you are publishing low content or low content, or you can use a pen name. So pen name simply means that you can put someone's name or a name that you feel, fictional name or your business name. Maybe um, I am, so you can see I can put in I am crafts. I am crafts or I am designs, I am gifts. Crafts. Right? So that is a pen name, but it looks like an organizational name. So you can put in any name, and so, but sometimes they reject some names if their name, names are popular or there are potential keywords that can conflict. They will reject it and tell you to adjust it. So you can just make sure that you work on some of them, move 
was that. So I, I'm going to put I am, I am crafts. I'm just going to put I am crafts or, or I am designs. It will, it will work well for that. Then the description. Description usually, you can use HTML to do your descriptions. But I just use the normal way and uh, I put in the description so that people can read and make meanings out of it. So I already have my description. So I just put in the description, best gift idea for you and your loved ones. Good day start with gratitude, a daily guide to cultivate an attitude of gratefulness. And pretty the same. So the description that you can put in any description, but make sure that your description is catchy, it's nice, and people will relate to it and buy. Because once your description grabs their attention, you'll be willing to look inside your book. So this is contributors. If you have contributors who've helped you to do the book, you can put their names here. But I don't have any contributor. My contributors are my students, and they are watching now. They want to learn to do this. So here, they'll ask you a question like publishing rights. Do you own the publishing rights? Or this is a public domain work. If you do this, you may not get a lot of money and uh, it's gonna be shared because it's a public domain work, it's not yours. Then you put in, I have, I own the copyright and the whole necessary publishing rights. So click it on there. So now this is where you put in the seven backend keywords. This is important for your publishing because people will see more of this. And uh, I've done a research about how to do keywords. You can use that one uh, to be able to make sure that you fill in all the keywords that are necessary. So you can come here and even start with gratitude, the title of the book, you get potential keywords, uh, gratitude. Gratitude journal. You get potential keywords that you can just pick in here, but I've already ha I already have my potential keywords in my metadata. So I just pick them and I add them to the publishing. So I just fill them here up and uh, ready we go. I'm just gonna fill them up first. So you should already prepare your uh, keywords down, already prepare them down. And you can use the mass upload tool if you are doing mini books, or you can use like just fill them up if you are doing one or two books. If you are doing one or two books, you don't need the mass upload tool. But if you are doing like 100 or 50 or 20 books, you may need the mass upload tool. Just do that. So you can also watch the mass upload tool, uh, like video, to learn how to get it how to be able to use that one. So once we're done here, we're done. Then you move to the next, which is selecting the category of the book. Most of the times I find it difficult getting the right category. So I just put in anything actually. Amazon may readjust it and put it and put in their own category there. So I put in nature animals and I do this. So I just put in anything actually, but you can make sure that you put in that. So adult content, does this book contain language situation? You say no, we save. So once you save it, you're going to the next step. So here, if you have an ISBN number, you put it, but I will not recommend that. You can just assign a free ISBN from uh, Amazon and that's pretty good. So you click on this one, and you assign, get a new ISBN number, ready to go. So the next one, you can choose. If you choose this, the cost may go high. That's color, black and white instead of cream paper. But normally I choose black and white interior. And the size of the book, you come here, you select it. But it's pre-made here. The custom one is six by nine inches. But if you want to do 8.5 by 11 book, you come here and click on it. Then no bleed. So no bleed. So no bleed and bleed simply means that when there's no bleed, if, for example, this interior comes out here to fill it all here, <coughs> simple means there's bleed. 
a simple means there's bleed. But the, this one doesn't come to the edges. Like you're not supposed, so there's no bleed to this. So you just make sure that that's where you take on no bleed, right? Then matte or glossy, and that's what normally I use glossy, but that's why you can choose, it's optional, you can choose whichever one you want. Then manuscript, then the manuscript, we just go back and pick the manuscript. So which is in the, the one we downloaded, this gratitude journal, practice one. Then all you do is you wait for it to load and you go and grab your book cover. So if you have a book cover, you can upload it here. If you don't have to, you can go to a launch creator for them to create, for you to create a, a book cover there. So we have our already made cover. So we just pick it up in the download sessions, like this one, and we're ready to make sure that we upload it. So once you upload it, it's gonna take time to work and you do lunch preview. So the lunch preview will show you how to like how it looks like once it is printed. Then so we do the lunch preview and we'll move on. So it's going to prepare your files and it's going to make a little adjustment to this. So you wait for it. It's, sometimes it takes a little time. You wait for it to be done, then you continue. So once it's done, it looks like this. Then you can look inside this. You can see the interior. Then it goes up. Then once you're okay with it, if there's a, there are problems with the size of the interior, it will tell you here for you to adjust. But if there is there, please check. It simply means it's okay. There's no error. Then you approve it. Then you just approve this. And ready, you're gone. So once you approve this, you move to the next stage. It'll tell you the printing cost 2.17 because the interior is there are not many, just like 100 pages, but that's fine. So the next page you go into is they're telling you where to or like how, the pricing, which is more also important. So it tells you on Amazon you get this pricing. Uh, so I'm going to choose six by nine nine, which is my standard price sometimes. So I'm getting a royalty of 2.02, .02, which is not bad from this book. Anytime someone buys that, and uh, 60%, and Amazon takes like 40% of that. So once, and it's been, some there's expanded distribution here. But because it's just lines and uh, no content book, it might not get into, uh, like the expanded distribution option. But still, I just put it there, it, but it will not go. If you have like books like content books, you can put the, that one. So this is how it looks like. All the markets in the world, this is the pricing. You can change any of the pricing in different markets, but normally I just let it go like that. Then once you're done, you check, your pricing is good. You can price this any how you want. You can do all territories worldwide, right? That's what I want. Then boom, you publish your first interior or your first uh, KDP book. And once you're done, it's okay, it's good. So they'll tell you that the book is in review. So they review it and uh, publish it for you. If there are problems, they'll get back to you and uh, it will look like this. If they publish it, it will look like life. It's live, but if it's not, Publishers is going to be in review. So they tell your title has been submitted for public publishers currently in, in review. They to take like 72 hours. Sometimes it takes like four days because it's low content. So this is how you are supposed to publish your Facebook. Thank you for your time. Thank you for everything. I believe in you. Let's meet in the next session.